Welcome to the Groups and Display Groups PageGate tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to configure groups and display groups within PageGate. The first step is to run the PageGate admin, so go to your Start menu, go to Programs, find the PageGate program group, and left-click on the PageGate admin. When the PageGate admin comes up, you should see both sections, Groups and Display Groups. We'll do the groups first. Right-click on the Groups section, then left-click on Add. In the Description field, you can name the group whatever you please. After entering in your group's name, left-click in the Group field, and you should see it fill in for you. You should see the advanced options, but we'll get to those in a moment. Left-click on Apply to add this group into the list. Once the group has been added, you should see it show up under your group's list here on the left-hand side. Left click on the plus sign next to the group's name, and then go to the Members section. Here in the Members section, you'll notice that we have two sections, Non-Members and Members. To add someone as a member of a group, simply left click on their name, and it will move them into the Members section. Once you've finished populating your group, left click on Apply. Now, let's go look at those advanced options we saw earlier. So, left click on the Settings section under your group's name you should see the on-call group checkbox. If this is enabled, you can configure a list of dates and times for an on-call schedule for the members in this group. To configure this schedule, put a check in the on-call group checkbox and left-click on the on-call schedule button. Once the on-call schedule screen comes up, left-click on add. First, select the recipient that you want to configure. Then, specify the start day, start time, stop day, and stop time. In this example, I'm going to say that my sample SMTP recipient should receive messages Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Once you've set your schedule, left-click on Apply. This tells PageGate that the recipient should only ever receive messages to this group from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Any messages sent on Saturday or Sunday, or messages sent before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m. will not go to this recipient, they will instead go to whoever is on call. Once you've configured your on-call schedule, left-click on Apply. In this next part of the tutorial, we'll be going over how to configure a display group, but let me explain what a display group is first. Our normal group is a group of recipients that all need to be messaged at once. The normal groups will show up in the PageGate client or on your paging website and are available to message. The display groups are groups that allow you to control who the PageGate client or web pages can and cannot see. So, find the display group section, right click on it, and left click on add. As before, give this display group a description. Then, left click in the group field and it will fill in for you. Left click on Apply to add this new display group in. Left click on the plus sign next to the display group's name, and then left click on Members. Here in the Members section, we can choose who should and who should not be displayed in the PageGate client. Left click on a recipient or group's name to move them into the Members list, and left click on Apply. You can also have multiple display groups. For example, let's say we have three sections, Sales, Tech, and Registration. Let's also say that we don't want the sales receptionist to see the tech or registration people. We can lock the sales receptionist's GUI client to the sales display group and they'll only ever be able to select from the members of the sales display group. This concludes the Groups and Display Groups tutorial. For more information, including how to configure the PageGate server, please visit our website www.notepage.net.